and then she came out of remission, but now we've got her back in remission by using different chemotherapy drugs. And um, although she's not happy to be here right. at home, her quality of life is very good. Robin Elmsley is a canine oncologist in Denver, a specialty you may not know exists, but day in and day out, her office is full of patients. So I think there's a greater demand for cancer treatment. It's not so much that cancer is more prevalent, but it's being diagnosed more and therefore treated more. Treatments last six months and can cost as much as $4,000. Helmsley says you can cut back on the drugs used, but that will, of course, reduce the success of treatment. Uh, she's a good girl. She certainly she isn't alone in her pursuit for a better life for man's best friend. Millions of dollars of research goes into finding better treatment for canine cancer each year. So we think the time is right to identify the genetic, environmental, and nutritional risk factors for the cancer. We think by solving it for our best friend, we may solve it for the world. Patricia Olson is the president and CEO of Morris Animal Foundation in Denver, the largest nonprofit foundation dedicated to funding research studies to protect, treat, and cure animals. This year alone, the foundation will provide $10 million to studies in 35 different species of animals. The focus is, of course, on eradicating cancer in animals, but also providing research that benefits humans. 10,000 dogs get bone cancer each year, 1,000 children. Pharmaceutical companies are not excited to produce therapies for that low market. We are now doing a clinical trial that involves four veterinary schools and have a drug that's looking extremely promising. Because of that, the National Cancer Institute is extremely excited about our work and think that this may lead to a better treatment for children. So we're all in this together. We all share the same planet and we hope to work together to solve this problem. A philosophy Elmsley endorses as well, ultimately helping all of her patients have a few more of those priceless moments with their people. You know, we're really after quality of life being great. You know, people always say, well, you're just putting off the inevitable. Well, that is true, but we just want to make sure that every day is a great day while we do that.